Hey guys, welcome to my first Minecraft mod tutorial, and I will be going over how to set up everything so you can make your own Minecraft mods. Then in my next tutorials, I'll go over how to make some blocks or new items or anything else that you want to do. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to download Mod Loader. This lets you use other mods that other people have made, or lets you use the mods that you make, but it's an essential thing, so you need to download it. So the first thing you want to do is to go to Internet Explorer and then go to Google and just type in uh, Minecraft Mod Loader. Okay, so once you go there, go to the first link and it's on the Minecraft forums. So you can read uh, all this if you want to, but hopefully this video will make it so you don't have to. It just gives installation instructions. So uh, go down to the link that says download version 5 with grass fix just click on it uh... you can either open or save it i'm just going to open it so it saves space for me i'm just i'm just going to copy the documents onto my desktop uh... i'm using winzip if you don't have winzip just google it and you can download it for free and it's really easy to use so anyways here are the mod loader files so you need to drag these files onto your desktop just like that now we have all of them on the desktop and I just close out okay so now what we have to do is move the mine these mod loader files into your minecraft jar file to get to that just go to your files and go to your C drive um, users and then the name of your uh, computer and then app data. If you guys can't see app data, it's because it's a hidden file and uh, hidden files aren't visible. So what you have to do is just go to your start and go to your control panel. Click on appearance and personalization. And then there's folder options. And under folder options, there should be uh, show hidden files and folders. And there should be just a little checkbox right here. And it just says show hidden files. So you just need to click on that and it should appear so just go to app data and then roaming and then under dot minecraft and your minecraft jar file is in the bin folder and it would be right here so what you need to do is open that and I'm going to use winzip so just right click open with use winzip and okay so this is our minecraft jar file okay so we just have to copy and paste the mod loader files into it so I'm just gonna select them here drag them in okay that's it now the only thing else you want to do is delete this meta imp folder otherwise when you try to start minecraft it will just give you a black screen which is not good so delete that and should be good for that so just close out and I'm going to delete these mod loader files because I don't need them anymore. Okay, so now the next thing we have to do is to install the Minecraft Coder Pack, or MCP. So once again, just go to Google and type in Minecraft MCP. And then under the first link, just it says MCP releases. And then it should be like a wiki file. Just scroll down to downloads and download version 2.9a because I'm using a Minecraft beta 1.3. Okay, then it should redirect you and just hit download. And I'm gonna save it because this one has quite a bit of files. I'm just gonna save it to my desktop to make it easy. Okay, so while that downloads. The, we need to download one other thing, and that is the Minecraft server jar. So just type in Minecraft server in Google. Go to the first link, it should say download-minecraft. And go all the way down to the page, and it should say Minecraft server.jar. Make sure it's the jar and not the exe file. So once again, just save that, and I'm going to save it on my desktop. Wait for it to look. 
Okay. Okay, so we should have everything downloaded. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a folder to put our Minecraft coder pack in. And I just put it straight on my C drive. So I'm going to make a new folder and just name it uh, MCP. And this is where I'm going to put all the Minecraft coder pack files. So go to your Minecraft coder pack wherever you saved it. Right click and extract it to that folder. As soon as WinZip gets up. Okay, I'm going to select my folder to extract it to. And hit unzip. Now just wait for it, all the files to unzip. Okay, there we go. Okay, so before we do anything, we need to copy and paste some folders in this jars file right here. Okay, so that Minecraft server file we just downloaded, we need to drag that in there. So just drag. And then we also need to copy the bin and resources inside the .minecraft folder. So go back to our .minecraft folder under C, Users, App Data, Roaming, .minecraft. And then bin and resources, copy them into that jars file. So just right click copy and then go back and close out this. Okay, go to your jars, right click and hit paste, wait for it to copy, okay now the only thing we should have to do is decompile it, which I'll close out of everything else, okay. So to decompile it, just go to this recom or not recompile, decompile right here, just hit decompile and then and we are almost done. And it's unpacking. And then uh, what, uh, your Java source is going to be in the sources folder. Um, I'll see if it's in there, but you go to sources and then Minecraft, net, Minecraft, and then source, and then this is where all your Java source files are. And this is what you edit to make a mod. So let's see if this is done. Not quite. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, that's it. Everything should work. Now, to actually edit the Java source files, you're going to need to download an IDE. Um, I have Eclipse. So, if you want to get that, you can just go to Google, type in Eclipse, and download it for whatever computer you have. And then you ought to be able to open the Java files with that. And it works really well. But uh, I'll show you how to uh, use this once uh, you're done with your mod. So after you're done with your mod and you've made all the changes to the Java source files you've wanted, you go to this folder called conf. You open that up and go to client obfuscation. It's a text file. And this text file are just uh, classes that you've edited. So for example, if you edit, like, there's a class called item. If you edit that, you put it in this text, and then you just save it, so when you recompile it, it will recompile this new class, and your mod will work. And that would be a good thing. Okay, so I'm just going to delete that. So go back to your MCP file, and then what you do is you hit recompile, and it will recompile all of them all the Java files and hopefully there's no errors okay there appears to be an error which I think I know how to fix so if you just open clips I'll show you how to fix it in case you guys have the same error so I'm, I'm just opening up Eclipse in the background okay 
So what you do is you just open the file, and mine is located in C, C drive, MCP, and then sources, and then it's in the file chunk provider load or generate Java. So just open that, go to line 157, and this is what's causing a problem. So what I'm going to do is just add a try loop around it. I'm going to indent this so you can see. Put a try loop around that and then a catch. And this should solve all the problems. Okay, so I'm going to recompile it. And it worked. That that would be good. Okay, so all I did was this chunk of code here, I just put a try. I put try and then brackets around it and then a catch. And that solves the problem, so and then once you recompile it, you just have to re-obfuscate it. And almost done here. Okay, so now you're all done. So the only thing left you have to do is go to this final out folder in Minecraft and these are the Minecraft files you need to copy in your jar file so I'm just gonna right click copy close out and paste it onto my desktop and delete that so now you just need to open your Minecraft jar file under bin Minecraft open with winzip And you just, from now on, once you uh, make your mod and do all that reobfuscation, you just have to drag these into your Minecraft jar file, and everything should work. So hopefully you guys understood everything, and I will uh, see you guys at my next tutorial, hopefully. So thanks for watching.